Hello everyone, before this video starts, I just wanted to let you know that all of the AdSense made from this video, I'm going to be doubling and donating to the Asian American Advocacy Fund. I'm sure many of you have heard about the absolutely horrific and heartbreaking attacks on the AAPI community in recent weeks, and I want to use my small platform in whatever way I can to support, so the longer you watch, the more I can donate, and I will leave other resources linked in the description. Enjoy the video! I haven't formally started this vlog, so hello. Oh, that was a piece of dust. Hello, welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, March 22nd, and I am currently on spring break, but if you guys thought that meant I didn't have a lot of responsibilities, you'd be wrong because I actually have a lot to do. I apologize in advance for my voice. I sound horribly sick, which I don't really know what it's from. It's definitely a mix of spring allergies, which are always really bad at this time of the year and maybe a little cold, but I know it's not COVID because I tested negative this morning. So we're good on that front. I feel great. I just sound really sick. So I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna start my day with some content creation, I think for TikTok and some Instagram stories. I just love starting my week off strong with some content because it sets the pace for the rest of the week. and I. I actually just got sent some skincare products so I'm gonna take some Instagram stories and then I also just started filming a little mini vlog on my TikTok. Obviously I have my longer vlogs and my whole videos on my YouTube channel but I've been loving making like mini vlogs and just random videos on my TikTok so that's what I've been doing on that and I've been trying to grow and be more consistent on TikTok as well. The behind the scenes of a micro influencer just really crazy groundbreaking stuff. <laughs> oh yeah updates on one of my other vlogs I showed you guys my new video that I got for my birthday and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to put in it and I found this really cute pompous grass at a local garden shop and I think it looks really good so I'm using that as a little prop to fill in my pictures. I don't really know how this is gonna turn out but it's just for an Instagram story so I don't have to be super extra. I have a lot of desk work today, just like editing and applying to summer jobs and stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna go out and run the errands that I have to do first so that when I get home, I don't really have to leave the house again. Let's check the handy dandy bullet journal since I just made a very long to-do list. I've recently gone grocery shopping, so I don't have to do that, but I think the only thing that I have to do outside of the house is just drop off some disposable cameras to get developed. I've been taking so many pictures on my disposables recently, so I have some cameras to drop off, but I really want to invest in an actual film camera, especially before summer starts. One, because it'll be a lot more sustainable since you have to throw these out, I believe, after you're done developing them. And also it'll just make more economic sense in the long run to have my own camera. So if any of you watching this are camera people, specifically film camera people, definitely let me know what you recommend. I don't even really know how to start finding one, so I could use any and all tips. Here's my little spread, and I think that's it for outside of the house. Uh, it's finally getting warm here in New England, which is so exciting. Just the fact that I'm wearing a short sleeve t-shirt right now. I love it. Let's get the good vibes music going. Sunshine. Cameras have been dropped and my mom wanted me to stop at Staples, so we're making a quick stop. Definitely need more mailers because I've been selling so much stuff on Poshmark. And then my mom needed me to grab white out. This pack's probably good and it's on sale. Okay, I'm home, workout clothes are on, AirPods are in because I'm gonna get my workout done. I've gone hiking for the past two days, I think, because it's been so nice outside, and I'll probably end up doing some outdoor activity after this, so I'm just gonna get my workout done in here today. I really feel like sweating, so I think I'm gonna do the 12 through 30 on the treadmill and then definitely end the workout with some videos on YouTube. I just don't really feel like lifting weights today because I've also done that for the past few days and I'm sore. Oh, and it's also very convenient that I'm doing cardio today because I'm also gonna get some social media stuff done while I'm on the treadmill, like Instagram stories, responding to comments, all of that fun stuff. So let's get after it. Yes. 
She said she the one, I bet she thinks she is Sand don't have no trust, I don't know where you been I need a break, on the brakes I'm on a wave, like Lake Michigan, go as I was working out, I realized that I haven't really eaten since breakfast, so I want to make some food. I've been craving, craving fried rice recently, which is really random, but I'm fully going to listen to my body and make some. I prepped the rice earlier, so we have that ready to go. And then for vegetables, I'm going to air fry some broccoli, and then I'm also going to throw in some corn, and that's all that I have. <laughs> and then I just found this little tub aware of chicken in my fridge that I thought I might as well throw it in for some protein. I just slammed my finger in the fridge door. <laughs> this does not look very good, but let's try it. I was gonna try and not have another coffee today, but I just poured a small little cup of cold brew so that I can get through the rest of this productive day. I decided to take everything outside just cause it's such a nice night out and I have this nice little porch setup that I can sit out on. I do not like this lighting right now though, hold on. Seems like I'm gonna be a little bit backlit wherever I sit, so whatever. Along with my food, I also brought out my bullet journal and my laptop, and out here I wanna focus on two different things. One is I really need to finish out my cover letter and my resume so that I can start applying to summer jobs because I really need to make some money this summer before heading off to college next year. I also wanna get started on some Quizlets for my AP Art History course because AP season is rapidly approaching, and even though I'm a senior, I still wanna do somewhat well on my test this year. I feel like if I just do a little bit of prep over break then I won't be as overwhelmed when I get back to school so that's what I'm gonna do on my laptop it was getting a little chilly so I moved inside we got a blanket now the study beats on the TV this is such a moment Hello, it is the next morning. I got my coffee, still sound sick for some reason. I honestly didn't do much after my work last night, so that's why I didn't vlog, but I thought I would show you guys some new things that I just picked up at Sephora. They gave me a little card for the spring savings event, which I cannot believe we're already back at that. I bought so many products during the event last year, and I made a whole video about it so I can link it in a card, but I did not need much this time. I just got some refills. I got a new one of the Sol de Janeiro lip balm. I used to swear by this lip balm, and then I lost mine last year, I believe, and never really replaced it. And so I was walking around the store yesterday and saw this and decided to get it again. This is honestly an all-time favorite. I really missed this. The actual reason I went to Sephora was to replace my Summer Friday CC Me Serum. And I've been using this ever since I got off Accutane just about a year ago from right now. And I credit this one product alone for literally clearing all of my redness and scarring. I live by this product. I use it every single night and I had just ran out. So obviously I had to get a new one. The little glass bottle. This is definitely expensive but it's worth it. I thought we could have a chat, just me and you, while I paint my nails, since I have been trying to break the habit of biting my nails for so long, and this is the only thing that sort of seems to work. How is everyone doing? I genuinely wanna know. I mean, we've been in this pandemic for a year now. I know my morale is certainly dwindling, and Everything just feels so unknown and mundane. It's such a weird time right now. I think the biggest stressor for me right now is the whole college thing since we are approaching the end of March when all of the decisions are about to come back and there are just so many levels of stress to it. I was talking about this to my therapist this morning and I so desperately wanna be excited for my future because I think there are so many things to look forward to, but the fact that I can't put a location on it right now is really hard for me. So there's that part of it. And then obviously there's dealing with all the feelings of acceptance and rejection and High school hasn't been the greatest time for me, I will admit, and so I always looked to my academics as a source of recognition and validation, and I worked so, so hard. And this whole college process seems like the culmination of four years of hard work, and so there's a lot of added just personal pressure riding on these. And I know, I know I shouldn't look to this ambiguous process as a 
indicator of my success or my hard work, but it's just really hard not to when I've been thinking about this pretty much solely this for like the last four years. It's just stressful, man. But either way, I need this waiting game to end. I wake up, I swear to you, probably four times a week in a sweat after having a college nightmare. So very excited for that part to end. If you're a senior right now, you're probably feeling some of the same stress. So just now I'm thinking of you, I'm sending you good vibes and let's just all have faith that we're gonna end up in the place that we're supposed to. Not me giving out advice that I can't even take myself. Oof. I don't know, I just have a lot on my mind and I thought I would talk to you guys about it and I'm sure a lot of you are feeling the same things whether it's college stress or pandemic stress but we're getting to the end of it and I am very proud of us. I think I'm gonna end this off here. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was productive, it was chatty, it felt really personal. I already liked this vlog a lot and I haven't even edited it yet. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, subscribe, follow me on all of my other socials which are linked down below and I will see you soon.